Do, 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 do. It's the game that, if I was a psychiatrist, I would prescribe as therapy to like, pretty much anybody. Oh for yeah. No data. No data. We're and starting. Co we're starting. Uh, co for co-op. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, welcome to co-op. Let's play of one of my favorite games on the PS2. <laughs> it's also easily one of the trippiest games in the entire existence. Yep. Do you think it's fun? I can always turn up the volume. I'll just let the theme song speak for itself. <laughs> Dude, this was an unbelievably low budget PS2 game. And it's people still assumed amazing. would not come out in America, and apparently enough people um, imported it that <laughs> Namco was like, I guess we should like put this out. <laughs> Definitely. So you're probably just like, what the heck? What is going that? on? <laughs> like, why? You'll see. It It's an incredibly fun game. Like, one of the most just pure fun games out there. Yep. The Katamari Damacy. Oh, take the toys. <laughs> Everyone's going for a car ride. I just realized, is the queen in, like, any of the Katamari games? Like, she's she's in, like, the, you like... You can roll her up in, uh, one of them. Oh, really? If you get, like, in, to, like, the biggest size. Okay, interesting. Alright. Ah, oh, hello, Prince. This is the king. Long time no see. We thought today would be a good day for rolling. The Katamari, the prince, where the first rolls, the second follows. Roll, roll, roll. For the purpose alone, we went to the bother, the bother of making this space. The king of all cosmos going to bo the bother just for rolling a Katamari. Just for that, went to the bother. Worse so, we would like you for you to start the rolling, but... B-U-T, first things first, does the prince like vibration? Meaning the moving and the shaking. No, no, I hate it. Plain is best. I love going all natural. If that's what you say, then what you declare, then you can turn the vibration on and off with the select button on the controller. All clear? Yes. Oh, good. We shall see. You, you just later. start rolling whenever. All right. So this is the tutorial level. So basically, you play as the son of like just a weird kind of like dad god. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Um, <laughs> This game does not look amazing on your TV. Well, no. But, but it's it, this is not an HD game, and my TV is HD. So. Does that affect the quality of your... Uh, uh, I, do, I don't think it affects the quality of the videos, but it makes it more noticeable when you're actually playing. Yeah. Oh, next. It has, like, no, <laughs> has, like, no texture. My, my very princely indeed. <laughs> so the thing you are rolling, and the controls are weird, but once you get used to it, it's fine. Um... You, you know, you play as the prince, and you the little ball in front of you is called a katamari. Yep. And you basically start with, like, really tiny things like dust and paper clips and stuff. Yep. And, it, and you eventually wait, you are rolling out. you can jump in this? Yeah. What? You didn't know that? No. Oh, absolutely yeah. not. It basically just gives you, like, an overhead view, because the camera's kind of weird. That's so weird. Yeah. I... Can you do that in the second one, too? I think so. What? Yeah. <laughs> See, aren't you you just blow you my purpose? mind. Mastered it already? For real? Who are you? We played the game before. Yeah, so that was boring, but that's just so you get used to the controls. Now we'll actually start the levels. Uh, what is happening to the stars here? That was some weird graphics. How could you, King? So basically, the plot of this is the King drinks a little too much and like destroys the entire universe. <laughs> and you <laughs> have understandable, to, understandably so. <laughs> and you have to, as his son, make things right by rolling up uh, normal household objects on Earth and turning them into stars. Yep, pretty much. This guy's—he's weird, but he's also hilarious. The King of all Cosmos has really done it. A sky full of stars. We broke it. Sky. Yes, we were naughty. Sky. Completely naughty. So, so very sorry. Just between you and us, it felt quite good. Not that that we can remember very clearly, but we were all in nature's embrace. We love everything. That's how it was. The king's a big hippie. Basically. Yeah. We smiled a genuine smile. <laughs> this game would be so hard to translate, because like it still doesn't even really make sense with the translation. And I don't think it's because it's a bad translation. No, like, it's, it's just, just weird. so weird. <laughs> but it's very fun. 
Alright, yeah, so he's basically like, oh, you have to clean up our mess now. Because we created you. Pretty much. Sending things to Earth. Earth is the one thing he did not destroy, thankfully. Here we are, Earth, full of things as usual. Hmm. Ack, so small. You're as small as ever. We didn't notice. What is that? The body? You build yourself up and you can work the Katamari. Oh yeah, because like, also part of the plot is we're getting like buffed by pushing the Katamari. I totally I forgot, forgot about that too. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see we're starting at 5 centimeters and our goal is now to get it up to uh, 10 centimeters. Which is still really small. Right. But so like, like we're rolling up like die and like matches, stuff like that. So the, cool, the one of the cool things about this game is that eventually you realize that like all the levels are kind of connected into one giant level. Is that the true? Is that true for this game? I thought that was just for the sequel. Oh, maybe it may be in the sequel. The sequel is also an amazingly fun. The se yeah, the sequel is probably like a better game, but it's literally Ooh, just yeah. the same. We just like, grew a bit bigger. Oh. And yeah, as we get bigger, you can see we can roll up bigger and bigger stuff. So like that pencil we could not have rolled up at the beginning. Yeah. And let's get off this table. And there's hidden things you can roll up. Yeah, the controls are a little weird at first, but you get used to them pretty fast. You, you use both sticks, and one of them, like, you have to push them both forward to move forward. But you also right. kind of control the camera with one. Well, for one, so like, to turn left, I'm holding the right stick up and the left stick down, and that's like a quick turn to the left. Right. And then other way around to go right. It, probably the first time I played this game, it took me a good hour to get used to the controls, but once you do, like, it's just a great game. Great game. Oh, yes. We so already, already, complete, very great already completed the objective. Yep. How goes it, Prince? How's Earth? Oh! <laughs> How fabulous. We, uh, we completely you forgot like the world's that. tiniest star. Like, you made a star <laughs> basically that's like as big as stars look like from Earth. Yeah. Well, this this is what we, what he doesn't tell us is basically this is like the teacher. Like, oh, you get a gold star on your assignment. Right. That's this Katamari star. Also, I totally forgot that the cane like sucks in the Katamari by, with like rainbow barf. You cannot roll up objects. Roll larger than your Katamari. <laughs> that is true. Oh yeah, and in, in the first game, especially crashing into something bigger, it like will knock your stuff off, and like a lot of it. Yeah. Boring. I feel like Katamari, like, the first Katamari Damacy, like, the controls... <laughs> the controls are, like, a little... They're a little wonky. Yeah, and, like, they kind of fixed it for the second one. Yeah, also, the second one's a lot smoother. Like, like I said, they're very similar. Yeah. Like, it's literally the same game, just with different levels, but it... They're both definitely they're worth buying. Oh, Go actually. out and buy them today! Exactly. Well, I do not see what that said. I think it's the same again. In 10 centimeters, 1 oh, millimeter, huh? Look at that perspective. Look at all those bling rings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Next time. You said. He's, he told us to get a 10 centimeter one. He's like, well, next time we want you to make it much bigger. <laughs> oh, now we make it. Pencil Star. Sweet. And also interspersed, we get this weird story about this human family. Oh yeah! We'll get to that eventually. I think that'll show up on this one. This is the home planet, planet, so this is basically where you can save, go to options, or quit the game, that kind of thing. You can unlock, like, costume pieces, which is pretty cool. So this was before Mario Galaxy, everybody. Katamari did it first. <laughs> and, right. and if we push R1, whoosh! You can also run, can't you? Oh, can you? Uh, no, that's in the second one. So we did make a star one last time, so we're on make a star two. Yeah, very nice. Uh, do you want to play this one? Uh, uh, yes, I would. So we'll just uh, Magdane Takarabli. Have you ever been to the Philippines? We stopped there the day before yesterday. We went. Uh, we hope you could visit during the day as well. Like, That's possible. possible. Oh yes, a royal present for the hardworking prince. Oh yes. So um, you can find each each level has a royal present in it. If you find it, you unlock like a costume piece. And they basically were just like fun aesthetic things that make the prince look different. Yeah. Um, I have never found them all. Okay, can you move while he's talking in this? Uh, I think in the later levels you can. Today we were rolling up inside the house. Can't Ooh, oh, yeah, centimeter. so now we need to make a 20 centimeter one. We have six, six minutes. Earth minutes. <laughs> different time then. Also, you get different music on each level and it's great. It's Katamari has such oh, good music. This is like the, the Funky Kong. Oh, it's the Funky Kong song? Nice. I don't think that's... 
Okay, the songs in this are so weird, because I feel like half of the lyrics are in Japanese and half of them are in English, with, like, no real discernment. Like, it'll be like he's starting a sentence in Japanese and then he finishes it in English. Yeah, it's, it's so weird. It doesn't really make sense. Like, nothing in this game makes sense, though, once you just kind of embrace that. <laughs> just just embrace the fun aspect of this yep. game. Getting some candy. Oh, I, mean, I can't roll up candy yet? Of course not. Oh, You're much mouse. too small. But you can you can get gum. The mouse is that? It makes sense that the gum sticks oh, to your candy. candy. That gum made all the difference. Milk candy. Milk flavored candy or like milk chocolate candy? Oh, the oh, mouse, mouse. is like after my blood. I'm getting out. No, he's out after the candy. I forgot how- I, it's been a while since I've heard the first Katamari music. It's pretty good. It's very good. The second good. one is better, but... See, the second one has some really, really catchy songs and also some really, really annoying songs, like the animal song. <laughs> I got enough of dog uh, barking and Pimo limbs. Foo! Whatever Foo is! Do you think people will be able to hear the music in this? Uh, I think so. So you could probably go to options after this and like get the music louder. Uh, don't bother. I can turn it up and edit it. You want to just turn up all the sound effects? All the in-game sound effects. Yeah, I know. I'm oh, I'm okay. Balance my tool. Maybe. Or I could just find the music online and play put it in. Oh, that oh, stupid mouse! mouse. Yeah, that's the problem. You can get comboed kind of easily and lose a lot of stuff. Okay, you should be big enough to pick up the mouse. Or the possum, whatever it is. Why would they have a possum? Although that doesn't Why stop. Would... This game is weird. Like, there are probably, frogs. People probably would have a possum in their house. There are frogs. There are mice pushing oranges. I can't hold sure. Of course not. There are snails just randomly walking around the house. Like, this house is a dump! There's stuff everywhere. Which is good. Whoa. Tape cassettes. That should tell you an idea of how dated this game is. Time. This game came out in like 2004, I think. Oh, cassettes were still. Were they no. still a thing back then? No. Oh, they have an NES. <laughs> Shikadu, a funky tone. They're mega blocks. They look like. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah, if you just go to the, oh, like... yeah, certain things you have to kind of, like, stun before you can run them up. At least until you get big enough that you, it's just, right. like, yeah, you suck them up. And obviously it's like, oh, like, two minutes have gone by and we're only 12 centimeters. And as you get bigger, it's easier to get the size right, quicker. Right, absolutely. You just, it, you just, like, it stuns from there. Yep. So there will be some levels where it's like, I want, like, a five meter Katamari, and it's like you start out, like, 50 centimeters here, because it's going to take forever, and, like, it you're only a it, meter, like, halfway through the level, it, but you It really doesn't take that long. It really doesn't. Let's go. Magnets! And also, you can, like, climb, you can climb walls in this once you're a certain size. So yeah, you can like climb Certain up Certain things too, some of like the unlockable stuff, oh, you, nice. have to, you have to be like the perfect size to get to. Yeah. Like you can get too big to roll up certain things, which is kind of frustrating at times. Frustrating, yeah, a little bit. Oh, someone left their sausage. I would hate to be the human living in this house. You just like wake up like all of your stuff has been rolled up and turned into a star. Well, and then eventually it rolls you up. But the people <laughs> in this seem to like being rolled up in a weird way. Like some of them scream, but like <laughs> in the end, like it doesn't seem like they die. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's yeah, the there's, thing. There's in... supposedly a present in this level, right? Oh yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> Let's go in the closet. Did they put a sausage in the trap? <laughs> whatever it takes to trap mice. Now the mi yeah, now the mice are running for their lives because it realizes we're big enough to pick them up now. Yeah, so like we started on the table and look at how much more stuff we're rolling out there. That was huge. Oh, look at that color scheme. Not bad. Oh. You might as well make it bigger. The Katamari is as big as 156 yellow Lego blocks. That's so, kind of cool that he does that. Yeah, so I might as well finish this one. Yep. I'm gonna try to find that present. So I don't know if I would find this. <laughs> yeah, like, that's the pro- so like, that's Wall the kind climbing of thing. in this is kind of glitchy. That's the, the thing that did get fixed in the second one. 
Like, you don't hemorrhage as much stuff. Yeah, I feel like in the second one, it takes a lot to knock stuff off of you, and even then, it's like, only, like, two things will fall off. Whereas in this, it's like, oh, you, like, touched a wall that you're trying to climb, bam, five things fell off. Yeah, which is cool. Just a tad. You have one minute left. Roll up as much stuff as you can. And I love how, like, no matter how big the catamaran oh, gets, oh, the hey. prince still- Oh! Outside! Garden gnomes! I didn't realize that that got open. So the present's probably out here. Probably. <laughs> oh, I got it. For one of our royal presents! Yes. You can also lose the presents. Oh my gosh, those are like garden gnome Santa Clauses in boots. So this is- What the heck?! <laughs> yeah, like, you should be able to climb that, but... Okay, that, that counter is an, an annoying sound effect. <laughs> and it starts making that starting at 30 seconds left. It's so annoying. A lot of people just leave their socks standing upright. Outside in the yard, <laughs> uh, apparently. Yeah, that, that, that's normal. Kitchen, right? I do that. So, like, look how big this yeah. is. And, like, it gets so satisfying in the later levels where you're just, like, rolling up, like, school buses and buildings and stuff. Yep. And th this might also might be a game where it's like just watching it. You don't think it looks that fun. Trust me, it is so fun. Yeah, it, it get, and it just gets like zany. Yeah, it it like the trippiness makes it like really cool. It's twenty nine centimeters five millimeters. It's okay. I should do better. Well, since you're the prince, you should do much much better. Here is our royal present. Guess what? Guess what? This is the thing that you collected most of is my. Earth is really is full of things. He's not even finishing his sentences. <laughs> we will now release it into the sky. Most of our stuff was playtime related. We get Bratty Star. <laughs> yep, that's me. <laughs> cool. Oh, yep. And here's the human sugar I was talking about. Great show. Come along. It's time to go. Okay. What a creepy. <laughs> We're like, mm -hmm. To be continue. continue. Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh wait, hang on. Let's, yeah. let's equip the present. And uh, <laughs> maybe up the music. Okay. So presents first. Winter scarf. scarf. Oh, so that's like look. a pretty small one. But now we're styling. Turn down the sound effects. There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next level, make cancer, and it's not what it sounds like. We're making the constellation cancer. Exactly. And Artie's in control again. <laughs> what is it? Something's not quite there. Also, I, I love this cancer. song. Oh yes, we get it. It just doesn't look delicious. This guy does not seem yummy at all. Everyone is still hungry, yes? Can't you see that, silly? Speaking of delicious, we say crab. Most certainly crab. Apparently the cane is a big fan of seafood. And crabs are, like... The sign of cancer on the zodiac sign, like in the start. That's true. So that's why I'm just explaining to the Yum, audience. It looks yummy. <laughs> this game does have pretty bad graphics. Okay, yeah. So for this one, but, we're not really concerned with getting it as big as possible. We're concerned with rolling up as many crabs as we can. Right. And it's funny because they hide crabs in weird places. Like, they're it's like, oh, it's a spider. No, it's a crab. Like stuff like that. Yeah. Just, like, what? what the hell? Oh, there was like a pit. There's little crabs. There's big crabs. There's the big crabs. crabs are not happy that there's I'm picking up the little crabs. Rocks. Oh, I like this catchy music. It looks like I should be at least be able to knock him down. Guess not. Fiddler crap, what's wrong? Beetle fight. <laughs> there were two beetles fighting, so I decided to pick them both up. I do not remember like half the songs in this, but I love it. <laughs> I like the Michael Buble one that I think is on the next one. <laughs> the Michael Buble one? It sounds like Michael Buble was like, I wanna one you up into my life. It's like all in Why are there crabs in the <laughs> This woman sleeping does not even realize I'm like stealing all of her crabs. Probably good. Who, who leaves scissors stuck down in the ground? <laughs> okay, they're running from me. <laughs> I can pick them up now. I think. Oh, okay. There's like a giant crab who's just like laughing uproariously on the ground. That's hilarious. 
on fucking people's tomatoes that they painstakingly grow. Tomatoes are a great way in this when you're starting off of like getting your head like it. Look at look at how big it's my like all, is. Like, it's all tomatoes basically. <laughs> the tomatoes just added so much radius. You know, like 29, 30 crabs, 31 crabs. Oh yeah. Because remember this one, like eventually you'll get so big that you can't roll up the, the small crabs. crabs again. Disappear. Right. Well, and it makes sense because the game has to stop rendering some things. Yeah, you know, exactly. Rendering new stuff. Yep. So every time the screen will kind of like shimmer. That means certain things are getting phased out, and uh, other objects are getting phased in, basically. Yep. Um, Come on, crabs, don't you want to be a constellation? I can't imagine why you wouldn't. Oh, whoa, there are crabs, like, bang. <laughs> the, the crab there we tower. go. <laughs> and on a t-shirt. Okay, somebody had, like, five crabs hanging from a t-shirt. Making the levels for this game would just be strange. So yeah. Okay, the, the weird thing, so oh, I'm is, stuck. <laughs> this is like a weird game because it was made, it was published by Namco, but like the studio that made it was like unbelievably tiny and the guy who made it is not normally a game developer. Oh, he's so not. this is like the kind of thing that would like, nor <laughs> like nowadays this would be like an indie game. Yep, definitely. It would be made by like three people or something. But like this, it was kind of like before oh. like the indie game era. Yeah. So yeah. this is like an yeah. actual like Namco made PS2 game. <laughs> oh, can I go up to the road? No, I can't. There's a fence there. Block you. All right, see you, Fiddler Crabs. Thanks for unlocking the cage. Here, you can have my. Now, once you get to a certain oh. size, like the crabs will start running away. Yep. So the red crabs have been running because you do you. get oh, you do get slower. If you want to turn around quickly, you can click. One thing we're not down. doing though is the boost. Oh, yeah. Because you do the lose a lot of stuff in this one. You, well, you, you bump into stuff. I'm stuck! There we go. The thing, yeah, the thing is, the boost cut in this, I feel like it fails half the time. Yeah, like right there. Well, you kind of have to, yeah, you have to, like, follow through with it. Like, you started it. Oh, okay. Well, guns. crabs of guns? This is, That sounds like the next big, like, indie thriller. It's like snakes on a plane, crabs of guns. Exactly. Sharknado, Sharknado yes. Did anybody actually watch that? Uh, Mike was it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Did she like it? Uh, like in a dumb way, yeah. Was it everything she hoped and dreamed it would be? Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Was there like a million tiny crabs on a tower back there? Oh, on the golf pole. Yeah. Oh, but I can't even roll up the golf pole yet. Take that. Oh, crab. there's one on the ground. Yeah, and as your Katamari gets like, more like, less round and more just like it's a bunch of stuff lumped together it's harder to pick stuff up yeah and like we said the second game kind of does turn that me better. around not it's very possible in this one to get stuck which i think is why they made it so that you can basically bump into stuff and lose a bunch of objects and get smaller oh that could be because yeah. like in the second I can't game, pick up that stupid you don't do that as much all oh, so... crab on the doghouse so because of that in the second game like i've actually gotten like stuck in some of the stuff and like you can't really Oh, really? Yeah. Come on. A crab with scissors. Let me and up. And this one, you basically there have to like, point directly straight forward. To yeah. Like yeah. It's very oh, funny. oh. There's a garden up there. With crabs! A Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs! Okay, the, the turnaround does not work nearly as much when you're huge. Yeah. That's all. Eh. Eh. You got crab. I had to click it like ten times. Uh, you have 99 crabs. No! Darn it. You almost got 100. <laughs> we this looks delicious, but also slightly disturbing. <laughs> that That's pretty Whoa. much this game in a nutshell. Come on, King. Oh, barf. <laughs> Too crab intensive and kind of gross. You rolled up 74% of the crabs. That's nice. 99 crabs. Fab, fabulous. This is what we wanted. Crab, crab, a sea of crab meat. Oh, whoa, he's smiling. This looks inc He just felt like this looks disgusting now. He's like, this is incredibly ugly. <laughs> we are one step to think he's actually gonna make a star? Do you think as soon as you turn around, he's gonna eat it? Well, we're not turning around, so he has to make it into a star. Actually, not a star. Multiple stars. Cancer. Again, not what it seems, folks. Oh, it's also the creepiest child. Oh, I feel it. I feel the cosmos. You know what those kids remind me of? It's like the creepy Link statue from Majora's Mask that you make with the song. <laughs> a little bit! And like Higley Town Heroes. <laughs> Here in Higley Town. Things are jumping right. around. Wanna do one more level? Yeah, then? that's kinda what I was thinking, because okay. I think the next one is the Michael Lee Blue one. 
make, uh, make star gonna, free. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a star free. Ba, ba, have you ever been to ba, Portugal? Ba, ba, ba. What were we doing yesterday? <laughs> I forget in this ass. one he's always referencing all these like <laughs> real places. Yeah. Oh yes, I almost forgot a royal present for the hard working prince. Did we toss it down to Earth? Oh, did the cancer level have a present that I didn't pick up? I I think in this maybe only the Mega Star ones do. Okay. I can't remember. There are so many presents and unlockable characters in the second one. Like I've oh, not. Does this all one have the cousins? I don't think it does. I think it does. Does it? Can you like be them in this though? Because I think that's only. I think the there's second. like a. I think that's only in the level. second one. You get all the second wave eight minutes. Ooh, pick up the croissants! Oh, oh, oh. I don't think I can pick those up to start. Maybe this four. You can't pick up the. Oh yeah. Spoons. So then now we start outside. That's cool. Their cans of tuna spinning on the ground is great. Oh no, this isn't the one. The best song in this is the one of the little children singing. Yes. La 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 that's la. Possibly the best song in this series. <laughs> like, uh, even though that's on like one of the worst levels, you can't like not be happy. It's true. There's some really good ones in the second game though. Everlasting Love, Baby Universe, Katamari on the Swing. I don't worry on the swing though, they play on like the 30 minute levels and you just hear it so much. <laughs> There's only like one 30 minute level and you can choose which song it is. I think it de it may default oh, to that's that true. song. In the second game you could pick the songs. Yeah. Nice. Like at first you you can only have like one song to pick from, but as you clear more levels you unlock new which is songs, which is nice. So if you're like, oh, I hate the animal level, you'd like, well, you don't have to play the animal song anymore. Whoa, nice! Oh, I love this song. It's like weird J-pop. But that's so apparently, basically, the guy who made this, like, found all these bands that he, like, liked, and, but, but like, he's like, they haven't done anything in, like, years. And just kind of, like, like, ripped them off. No, and was like, do you guys want to make a song, like, a single song each for, like, my game? And we're like, yeah, sure. Oh, that's kind of, that's really cool. I, I kind of want... This has probably one of, like, I don't understand any of the words and stuff, because it's all Japanese, obviously. Yeah. But, like, this game probably has one of, like, the best video game soundtracks, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. It, it just because like, it's in terms so of, like, unique. In terms of, like, funky beat. I'm not talking, like, orchestral. Yeah, because, like, but... there's so much diversity in the songs here. Like, it's kind of a jazzy right now, which is right. pretty cool. And the, the first game, I think, has more diversity in the songs than the second. I think it's, the second, the second game one has, has a lot of J-pop. I think the, the second game has better songs. Take out food! Oh, the dog's not happy that the catamaran's going around. Run rats. So, like, let's, uh, besides this, what other video games would you say have, like, some of the best soundtracks? Oh my gosh. Um, oh man, that's tough. Because, like, I... So, I used to listen to, like, video game soundtracks more. I... Don't really like a lot of times now when I'm playing games because I don't, don't really notice, notice it, or you I'll don't... I either won't notice it or I'll play with the sound off because I'll be like listening yeah. to a podcast or something. Like when when I heard you were doing that for the Spirit of Justice Ace Attorney, I was kind of sad because that has like one of the best soundtracks of the yeah. series. So like I like so once you told me that, I will try to you know like play like, with sound right. more. Yeah, right. right. Um, okay, man. In terms of like, so like I think a lot of the Final Fantasy games have really really good soundtracks. Okay. Um, I think Final Fantasy IX especially has a really good one. Um, okay. I mean, I All think right. there's like a lot of I think there's a lot of like iconic video game songs. You know, like everybody knows like right. the Super Mario Brothers level. But I won't say like Super Mario Brothers has like amazing music. Right, and neither would I. So for um, me, like anything by Rareware is gonna have good music. Yeah. Yeah, the rare games have pretty good also, music. Also, uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts has really good. Kingdom music. Hearts does, and again, that's the guy who knows Final Fantasy only. Really. Oh, really? You gotta pause. I have an issue. Oh, whoa! Um, did you just pick up chalk, uh, like sidewalk chalk, yep. like drawings? Yep, you can pick that up from this. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I think um, Earthbound has pretty good music. Chrono, yeah. Chrono Trigger has really good music. Mother Free is better music than this. Um, one, all the Persona games that I've played have really good music. Mm -hmm. And again, that's mm -hmm. kind of like this. Like they're just like funky. Yeah, yeah. They have a good like range. Um, I would I would say the Ace Attorney series has really Ace good Attorney music. Is, yeah, Ace Attorney has solid music. Um, oh wow. Well, yeah. Roll them up so they never have to plague the world again. So you already beat one, it. This is no. Well, this means they're loading. Oh, like that, that's right, that's right, yeah. That means they're, like, reloading. So you can stuff. access a new area now. Yeah. <laughs> um, how about you, what are some of your favorites? <laughs> okay, well, yeah. 
So, the Banjo-Kazooie series has really good music. Uh, Don Donkey Kong Country series has really good music. Kingdom yeah. Hearts. Um, Fire Emblem has pretty good music as yeah. well. Yeah, it does. I wouldn't say that's the best, but it has pretty good. Uh, I feel like there's some big ones. Oh, missing. Paper Mario. Oh, Mega Man, too. Mega Man, absolutely. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight has really good music. Um, really, really good 8-bit music. Maybe because, like, because it's not oh, no. technically it's... not... Oh, we no. still stuck? Back out. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we still gonna die! Yeah, Shovel Knight, because it's technically not, like, an NES game, like, the 8-bit the music is much more complex right. than most, which is nice. Although, some Mega Man music definitely comes close to that. Uh, DuckTales Remastered has yeah. some really good music. I think the last... Shovel Knight was probably one of the last ones where I was just like, dang, this music's amazing. Like, um, I, I actually... Or actually, because I bought the Wii U version, I got a free copy of the soundtrack. Yeah, because you have the physical version, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I wish it would update so I could get the Plague of Shadows and Specter oh, of Torment um, ones as well. Undertale, I think, is really good music. Yes, definitely. Um, so, well, I guess Undertale is a mixture because like a lot of the atmospheric songs, I'm like, yeah, this is good, but like not like amazing. Whereas I the battle the, themes are. I think really the music. Good. I think more for Undertale, the thing that struck me is the music is like iconic. Like it's very memorable, even if it's like kind of just more atmospheric or stuff. Like a lot of it is just something I'm gonna. Yeah, remember and that song. I think now that I've learned it, part of the reason is Toby Fox, the guy who made it, is a musician by trade, yeah. not really a programmer. Right, which is why I think that's isn't that a game maker game? Yeah. He made like, it, like, in game making, Which, like, is no coding. Well, I mean, I feel like it's kind of the same things with, like, a lot of stuff being made in RPG Maker. Yeah. But I... You don't code, though. I mean, like, he probably... Well, well I know he has coder. Like, he the PC coders. version of RPG Maker, you can customize the code very easily. Right. Which but I don't, nice. I don't know how much he actually... I don't know anything about coding, though. So right. I don't know how much he actually did that or not. I, know, I don't think Toby Fox did a whole lot of that. I think he mostly just worked with assets that were already made by other people. Yeah. And the fact that he made a game that popular with that, like, mad props to you, Toby. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, Under Undertale definitely has really good music. Paper Mario? Uh, yeah, I already said that. That was good. Uh, Mario Galaxy also. Mario Galaxy, yeah, because that's like the first one that has orchestral music. I think all, pretty much in general the Zelda games do too as well, especially yeah. Wind, Wind Waker especially. Because Wind Waker kind of does like a cool job where it has like kind of like new islandy sounding music, but it also That's has like kind of remixes oh, of yeah. a lot of like like Windfall is like the Kakariko music. Is it? It's the same music. Like it's like the same like basic theme. It's just kind of remakes. So now that you mentioned the thing I've noticed about Wind Waker is like I feel like most of the Zelda games like the music is kind of just like it's there. It complements the game very nicely, but it's not like. It doesn't really stand alone very well, whereas Wind Waker is just kind of like, this is in your face, pretty awesome music. Yeah, I agree. Wind Waker is my favorite Zelda soundtrack. I thought you were just going to say your favorite Zelda. Well, Because uh, Link, no, Link, Link tends to wax poetic. Yeah, so Wind I am Waker. a big... Oh, that's where I was supposed to go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, Pardon me, Katamari coming through. Wind Waker t is one of those games where every time I play it, it gets a little better. It totally has flaws. I think Ocarina is still, like, I, my favorite game of all time, probably. Yeah, definitely. But, that said, Wind Waker is one of those games where, like, it, it's, it, take, it took a risk. And it did pay off. And it did pay off. Like, a lot of the stuff is kind of annoying. But, like, I don't think you'd have stuff like Breath of the Wild without Wind Waker. Fair enough. Link to the Past also had really good music. Yeah. Nintendo in general is just good with it. Definitely. I guess for me, like, I've played enough video games <laughs> now at this point in my life that I'm like, I like games that, like, do something different musically. Okay. Which is why That's I like fair. stuff like Katamari, because it's just, like, wacky and weird. Yep. Oh, Sonic Adventure 2 with all the rap songs for Knuckles. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2, okay, here's the thing. A lot of the music is, like, it's bad music, but it's, like, good game music. Yeah. Like, the raps are bad raps. But, like, they fit with the game. <laughs> Let's be honest, everybody secretly likes rolling around at oh, this yeah. speed. Yes. Absolutely. It fits the level just so perfectly. That would be good. That's cool. It would. I don't think I haven't thought about that. Bistro Star. Will we... Oh, and the Chef Comet. Very nice. Does that... Is it... Okay. I don't know how the comets I get triggered. I think... Oh, they said on TV that all the stars disappeared. <laughs> Oh, honey, things like that just don't happen. <laughs> There's our cab now. <laughs> I totally like, forgot about like, that. Such... But that's 
it's what so cheap. Said, right? <laughs> to be to you. <laughs> Will anybody believe this child? <laughs> Next, it was on, on Katamari. It was on the news. Okay, yeah, so... But apparently the mom didn't see the news. So, basically, I'm only pointing on this being one episode. If, if people are like, we want more of this, then we could play more or maybe mm -hmm. play the second game. But that's all we have planned, really, for yeah, the time for being. Yeah, for sure. And I, I mean, we might come back later. We might do some of the later levels or something. Yeah. Like, I would save, if I were you. Oh, sure. Uh, before we leave. But, yeah. No, agreed. If you if you like Katamari, if you like this video, if you want to hear more Katamari facts <laughs> and hear more cool J-pop music... Um, Leave a comment. Le you know, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, <laughs> if you want. I, I don't like to push that. But, yeah. Thanks and, uh, for watching. Go, and go check out... Um, oh, wait, don't return. You have to save. Where, where's the save? Please direct me to the save. Um, I think it's the house. Yeah, Dana. Um, yeah, no, and, you know, so, like, you know, hang out. Let us know in the comments. And uh, go check out the hardest video game of all time. Uh, Dark Souls. <laughs> I mean, Winnie the Pooh's Preschool. <laughs> I, I feel like at this point, if people have seen this video, they probably came from the Winnie the Pooh Preschool video, because apparently... Let us know in the comments below if you came from Pooh Preschool. Yes, we would love to hear about that. So, until next time, I'm Colorful Artie. I'm Link the Hero 64. And we'll see you then. Have a great day, and God bless. Bye.